The connection between the gut and chronic UTIs is something that I think is severely overlooked and nobody really addresses it. I do believe that my chronic UTI issues are linked with everything else that's going on in my gut as well. And that it's necessary to address all aspects in order to um, facilitate true healing. Hi, I'm Amanda and this is my UTI story. I know how scary, confusing, and isolating that this experience can be. And I just want people to know that there's hope and that they're not alone. So everything started for me back in April of 2024 when I drank contaminated water in Guatemala for over a month without knowing it. And I got a parasitic overgrowth, I got H. pylori, SIBO, and also a raging UTI that I thought was going to kill me. So I was first diagnosed with a severe UTI in Guatemala and I received two rounds of antibiotics before my fever started going down. I was shaking violently at night. Um, I was really scared. And so I decided to go back to Sweden in hopes that I would find more answers there. They never did a culture of the bacteria when I was first admitted, but they did one later and it came back negative. And when I returned to Sweden, they did several more, but they all came back negative with elevated white blood cell count. After three rounds of antibiotics, I was still having symptoms like bladder pain and the bacteria kept coming back negative. So that's when I found a clinic in the UK that did NGS testing, next generation sequencing. And finally, I think three months after I was initially diagnosed, that's when I did the NGS testing and found out which bacteria it actually had. So I had five different types of bacteria that uh, were embedded in biofilm and basically hiding from medication in that way. I received four rounds of antibiotics in the span of three months prior to receiving a proper diagnosis of my bacteria because the urine cultures kept coming back negative. After finding the UK clinic, I have since received one more round of antibiotics targeted at two of my most prominent bacteria, and I'm also taking taurine and demonose to treat some of the other bacteria. Alongside this, I'm also taking two different biofilm disruptors, and I'm taking those long term and supplementing with magnesium and L-ornithine. It's been incredibly stressful and anxiety inducing, especially before receiving proper diagnosis, because it felt like the doctors were just guessing and prescribing broad spectrum antibiotics without really knowing if it was going to work. And sometimes it even felt like they didn't believe me. After the very first antibiotic I was given, I actually got a lot worse. And that's when I started shaking um, all through the night. I had to have paramedics come and give me a shot just to get the fever to go down, which it just did like barely. And that was when I thought I was going to die because I felt like the medications weren't working and like nobody really knew what was going on. Four days after receiving the second antibiotic, my fever started to go down, thankfully. Um, but the bladder pain symptoms came back again, like. I think two weeks afterwards. And then my um, parasitic infection symptoms really came to an all time high as well with insomnia and night sweats. And it was just awful. And I do think that the two are quite interconnected. The worst part about the whole experience was just having my experience minimized by the medical establishment and being made to feel like I was exaggerating. Um, or that nobody really cared. And it of course took a huge toll on my mental health, but for some reason I felt like it wasn't safe for me to even express that because it was so easy for people to just put you in the box of like, oh, she's not well mentally, so this is just an anxiety thing. It's not actually real. The antibiotics that I was prescribed in the beginning also led to a severe candida overgrowth, which has also contributed to the psychological and physiological stress of the entire event. What really made a difference was finding Live UTI Free and being directed to the UK clinic that I'm now working with long-term in order to heal my chronic UTI. And that's given me hope. I have 
um, continuous support and I do feel that I'm getting better slowly but surely. I feel less alone and less scared and more hopeful that there is a way out of this and I can already see um, the positive changes that have happened and how I don't have to rely as much on antibiotics as I did and I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. The connection between the gut and chronic UTIs is something that I think is severely overlooked and nobody really addresses it. I do believe that my chronic UTI issues are linked with everything else that's going on in my gut as well. And that it's necessary to address all aspects in order to um, facilitate true healing. I think my situation was quite extreme, um, considering the unfortunate circumstances that led to my developing um, a whole host of health issues within the matter of a month. But it's important to understand how everything is interconnected and to take precautions when traveling abroad. Honestly, this has taken a huge toll on every aspect of my life. I've had to change my whole lifestyle to revolve around my health, my diet, my protocols, and nervous system regulation. It honestly feels like a full-time job. I've barely been able to work since getting sick, and it's hard to have energy left over to nurture personal relationships or engage in activities just for fun. This has been the hardest experience of my life and has affected my mental health profoundly. For the first few months, I cried every single day. My mom has been a huge comfort. She has moved in with me at this point. And I also have some great supportive friends who check in on me regularly. I started seeing a new therapist and um, that's been great. I joined a detox community to be around like-minded people. And another thing that's helped me immensely has been to empower myself with knowledge in the hopes that I can understand my body better and help other people in the future navigating similar health challenges. I'm now studying to become an integrated nutrition health coach, and that gives me a sense of purpose that something good can come out of this um, horrific period of suffering. Something I used to repeat to myself when I was at my lowest was just, this too shall pass. And I would visualize myself healthy and at peace, strolling on the beach at sunset. And I have since moved to Spain and I am now living right by the beach. So I take sunset walks nearly every evening. And although I still have some ways to go with my health journey, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to that vision. And I've learned to be my own best patient advocate, to trust my intuition fiercely, and to keep seeking answers. Hi, I'm Denka from Love. I hope you found this video helpful. There's no single approach that will work for everyone when it comes to health, so I invite you to watch more patient videos here or read more stories over on our website, liveutafree.com, and take what resonates with your journey. Remember, it's always best to consult with a clinician before trying something new. If you'd like to share your own story, please get in touch. Our info is in the description. And feel free to reach out with any question about patient stories, finding a clinician, or your own personal experience. Also check out the description below for more helpful resources. If you find these videos valuable and would like to support what we do, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to stay updated when we post new content. Thanks so much for watching and for being part of this community. And remember, your story matters.